I'm here at the Canadian Blood Services Clinic on Silver Creek Parkway to learn more about CBS and what they do for our community. Every 60 seconds, someone in Canada needs blood, and it's patients that rely on blood transfusions for treatment. So whether that a father going through heart surgery, he can need up to five units of blood, an accident victim can need up to 50 units of blood, or even someone going through cancer treatment can need up to eight units of blood. So cancer patients, accident victims, people with blood disorders all rely on blood transfusions for treatment. With the need for blood so high and an array of people who need it, what type of people are possible donors? One in two people are eligible to donate, but only one in 81 people currently are donating blood. So if you aren't sure if you're eligible to donate, you can actually go to blood.ca and we have an eligibility quiz where you can do the quiz and find out if you're eligible to donate. You have to be at least 17 years of age. Um, if you've traveled recently or on medication, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't donate, but um, we have a whole section that covers all that information and you just head there to check it out. The idea of giving blood might be a little scary for some, but the process is quite welcoming and doesn't take very long. When a donor shows up for their appointment time, they're going to check in with their front staff and the donor staff will do a identification check. From there, they're going to go do a questionnaire where it's going to ask you questions about your health, your history. It is confidential and it's for the safety of the donor and for the patient. Once they finish the questionnaire, they're going to move on to the interview. In the interview, the staff are going to be going over the questionnaire information. They may have additional questions, depending on the answers. And they're also going to do a temperature check and a finger prick. The finger prick is to test your hemoglobin levels. And hemoglobin just uh, is an indicator of iron. If everything checks out and you're eligible to donate, you'll actually move on to the donating blood. And that takes between 6 to 12 minutes, depending on the donor. Um, you'll relax in our comfy chairs. You can read a book while you're donating, scroll through your phone, um, talk to a staff member, or simply relax knowing you're saving lives. And then if you ever start to feel uncomfortable or you're worried, just ask, talk to a staff member and they'll help you out. Rachel has seen a lot of blood donations with her time at CBS, and it's quite emotional seeing the big hearts the people of Guelph have. I think it's really heartwarming to see how many donors do come in and donate blood, not knowing they're not, they could be helping a stranger and they don't even know it. So it really is heartwarming. And while giving blood and saving lives is pretty important, I need to know more about the most important part of the process, the treats. <laughs> the treats are everyone's biggest concern. Um, we have tons of different snacks for you, whether you like lace chips, cheesies, Oreos, different juices, pops. Um, it's like a little reward after you donate blood. If you want to learn more about Canadian Blood Services, you can visit them at blood.ca, check out the Give Blood app, or call them at one 888 2 donate For Guelph Life, I'm Ryan Manahan.